In the vast expanse of the mind, thoughts dance like shadows, shaping the canvas of our reality. Each thought, a brush stroke, colors our perception, molding the world we inhabit. The power of thought, often underestimated, is the architect of our experiences. The narratives we weave within, the dialogues we entertain, echo in the corridors of our existence, molding our external reality. To master the art of thought is to hold the reins of one's destiny. Mindfulness, a beacon in the fog of incessant thoughts, illuminates our path to clarity. It teaches us observation without judgment, to see thoughts as fleeting yet influential guests in consciousness. Here, Marcus Aurelius' Stoic wisdom guides us. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. His words anchor us in the present, empowering our mental journey. Cognitive reframing, the mind-skilled artist, transforms our inner dialogue, turning challenges into growth, despair into resilience. Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor and psychiatrist, embodied this transformative power. His enduring words, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves, illustrate the profound strength of thought in adversity. His life story stands as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit through mindful reframing. Embedded in this journey is the practice of daily reflection and alignment. Each morning or evening, take a few minutes to reflect on how your inner state, thoughts and emotions has influenced your interactions and experiences throughout the day. This conscious alignment of your inner world with desired external experiences becomes a cornerstone in mastering the art of thought. By cultivating a garden of positive thoughts, we align our experiences with our inner state. This echoes Buddhist mindful awareness, embracing reality with an empowered perspective. By engaging in mental alchemy, we reshape not just thoughts, but our reality's fabric. The alchemy of thought transmutation is not mere philosophy, but a tangible, transformative practice, guiding us towards a reality shaped by intention and insight. In our journey, let us remember the words of Carl Jung, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. By unearthing and understanding our inner thoughts, we gain the power to sculpt our destiny, transcending the illusion of fate. In essence, our journey through the labyrinth of the mind is a shared exploration, unlocking realms beyond the scene. In the enlightened mind lies the power to transform not only ourselves, but the very essence of our shared reality. Embarking on this path with courage, curiosity, and compassion, we realize that self-mastery is forged by the thoughts we choose to cultivate. At the heart of our existence lies the crossroads of decisions, where each choice weaves into the tapestry of destiny. In this intricate dance of decisions, our deepest selves emerge, each choice acting like a thread that intertwines to form the intricate pattern of our life. It's here, in these pivotal moments of choice, where we either take bold steps or pause to reflect, that our paths unfold in endless permutations. Seneca whispered through time, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare, it is because we do not dare that they are difficult. These words echo in the chambers of our choices, reminding us that our destiny is but a reflection of our courage to choose. To navigate this labyrinth, consider the practice of decision mapping for navigating life's complex choices. For instance, when deciding between a secure, traditional career and an unconventional, passion-driven venture, Map out the potential outcomes, weighing the thrill of chasing dreams against the comfort of stability. This visual technique illuminates the far-reaching impact of each choice, offering clarity and foresight in complex situations that challenge societal expectations. In the realm of ethics and morals, our decisions carve out the contours of our character. Each choice, like a sculptor's chisel, shapes the figure of our moral being. 
It's a spiritual journey where choices are not merely paths to an external destination, but are, in essence, the stepping stones of inner evolution. How, then, do we navigate this labyrinth of choices? The answer lies in conscious decision-making, an art form combining wisdom, foresight, and a deep understanding of one's values. Here, in this sacred space of introspection, we find the strength to make life-affirming decisions, decisions that resonate with the core of our being and align with the universal dance of ethical existence. As we traverse this landscape of choices, let us be guided by the North Star of moral integrity, making decisions not just for the fleeting moment, but for the eternal echo they leave in the halls of time and spirit. For it is in these choices, in the quiet yet profound moments of decision, that we craft our destiny, painting our lives with the hues of our deepest truths and values. Delving into our innermost thoughts reveals a profound key to external harmony. This profound interconnection, deeply rooted in Buddhist philosophy, asserts that our inner peace is a mirror reflecting the world around us. As we cultivate tranquility within, we begin to see its ripples in the external world, a testament to the interconnectedness of all things. Our journey towards internal balance is more than a pursuit of personal calm. It's an exploration of how our inner state shapes our environment. Techniques like meditation and mindfulness are not mere practices of self-reflection, but are tools for reshaping our external reality. This alignment of the inner and outer worlds is a delicate dance of consciousness, where each inward step echoes in the universe beyond. A practical step in this journey is thought journaling. Regularly, perhaps weekly, record thoughts, especially those triggering strong emotions or impacting interactions with the world. This practice aids in identifying and understanding the thought patterns, influencing the harmony between our inner state and external world. This path of alignment is a continuous journey, requiring a harmonious blend of self-awareness and environmental responsiveness. The tranquility we nurture within doesn't just radiate outward. It also invites the external world to resonate with our inner peace. This process, a dynamic interplay between the self and the cosmos, calls for a deep understanding of the mind as a powerful catalyst in shaping our reality. Embracing the discipline required for this alignment, we not only achieve personal balance, but also contribute to the harmony of our surroundings. This practice transcends the boundaries of individual experience, weaving our personal journey into the larger tapestry of existence. It reminds us that the peace we seek and the harmony we strive for are not just within us, but also reflections of our interaction with the world. Delving deeper into this exploration, we uncover that the harmony we aspire to is not a distant dream, but a tangible reality, starting from within and extending outward. This understanding is crucial as it brings forth not only the essence of personal tranquility, but also sketches the blueprint for a harmonious world, intertwining our inner peace with the external cosmos in a seamless symphony. In the alchemy of ethical transformation, the journey from intention to action is both profound and intricate. Immanuel Kant, a beacon in the realm of moral philosophy, asserts, act in such a way that you treat humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of any other, never merely as a means to an end, but always at the same time as an end. This profound directive challenges us to align our actions with the dignity and respect that every moral endeavor demands. To bridge the gap between intention and action in this ethical odyssey, consider the Intention Action Review for radical decisions like challenging deep-rooted societal norms. When your intentions involve questioning established beliefs or practices, regularly evaluate how your actions align with these revolutionary ideals. This self-audit ensures your daily actions are not just conforming for comfort, but are true to your transformative ethical vision. The art of ethical living is a practice of deliberate action, a fusion of wisdom and discipline.
It's a dance where the steps of moral intentions are choreographed into the graceful movements of ethical deeds. This path is not linear, nor free from obstacles. It's a journey laden with challenges that test the strength of our convictions and the steadfastness of our integrity. To walk this path, self-awareness is paramount. It's the light that reveals the shadows of our inconsistencies, urging us to forge a harmonious alignment between our inner beliefs and outward behaviors. Through this process, our intentions are not just ideals, they become the very fabric of our daily actions, reflecting our deepest ethical commitments. In this transformative quest, every choice and action becomes a resonant echo of our deepest moral values. It calls for a life not just imagined in good intentions, but vigorously lived in the embodiment of those principles. In this commitment to ethical action, we find the essence of wisdom and the heart of virtue. Navigating the nuances of ethical living requires anchoring in the wisdom of Kant and the discipline of our moral resolve. By doing so, we move beyond personal growth to contribute to a legacy of ethical excellence, resonating beyond our individual lives into the collective conscience of humanity. The essence of our character is shaped not merely by grand heroic acts, but by the subtle and steady influence of our daily habits. This concept is eloquently paraphrased by Will Durant, inspired by Aristotle's philosophy. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. This insightful interpretation forms the cornerstone of our understanding of how habits play a transformative role in sculpting our being's essence. The art of habitual mastery is akin to sculpting from the inside out, where every repetition of action, every disciplined routine, chisels away at the raw marble of our nature, revealing the masterpiece within. It's a journey that transcends mere self-improvement, delving into the realm of character formation, where habits become the architects of destiny. To enhance this transformative journey, habit stacking emerges as a powerful technique. Start by identifying a small, positive habit you perform daily, and then stack a new, desirable habit onto it. For example, if you habitually drink tea in the morning, use this time to practice five minutes of gratitude or mindfulness. This approach effectively leverages existing habits to cultivate new ones, enhancing the art of habit formation. In order to cultivate positive, life-enhancing habits, one must first recognize the patterns that currently shape their existence. It is in this awareness that the potential for transformation lies. By intentionally replacing negative habits with positive ones, we initiate a profound change that resonates through every aspect of our lives. This process, though seemingly mundane in its daily practice, is nothing short of revolutionary in its impact. Self-discipline emerges as the guiding force in this endeavor, the unwavering hand that steadies the course amidst the ever-changing currents of life. It is through discipline that habits transform from fleeting attempts to enduring practices, engraving virtues into the very core of our character. In the mindful practice of shaping our habits, we hold the chisel to carve our future selves. Each deliberate act, each consciously formed routine is a stroke in the grand painting of our character. This journey, interweaving self-discipline and daily rituals, is not just about altering actions, but about transforming our very essence. Here, within the disciplined architecture of our habits, lies the power to sculpt not only our character, but also the destiny that unfolds before us. The journey to self-mastery and enlightenment is an odyssey of the mind, a voyage through the seas of patience, persistence, and practice. In the musings of Lao Tzu, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. This ancient wisdom encapsulates the essence of our quest for mental clarity and freedom, reminding us that enlightenment is not a sudden revelation, but a gradual awakening. Along this journey, consider initiating wisdom circles with like-minded individuals. 
In these gatherings, delve into profound dialogues about existential realities and enigmas. Envision sessions where you and others explore topics such as the nature of reality, the concept of time, or the possibility of other dimensions. These explorations, pushing the limits of conventional thinking, invite participants to deeply ponder our place in the universe. At the core of this journey is the cultivation of wisdom, a process that demands not only intellectual growth, but also deep spiritual insight. It's an intertwining of knowledge and understanding, where learning transforms into living wisdom. This path requires unwavering patience and persistence, as the mind slowly unravels the complexities of existence and the self. The practice essential to this journey is multifaceted, incorporating both ancient teachings and modern disciplines. Meditation, mindfulness, and contemplative study are not just practices, but gateways to deeper understanding and self-awareness. Through these methods, we gradually peel back the layers of our consciousness, revealing the luminous core of our being. This pursuit of enlightenment is not merely a personal endeavor, but a contribution to the collective consciousness. As we elevate our minds, we become beacons of light and wisdom, inspiring and uplifting those around us. The enlightened mind is a source of freedom, not just for the individual, but for humanity as a whole. As we conclude this journey, let us carry forward the lessons learned and the wisdom gained. In cultivating an enlightened mind, we don't just transform ourselves, we become catalysts for the transformation of the world. This is the ultimate destination of our journey, a state of being where wisdom and freedom are not just concepts, but the very fabric of our existence. Thanks for watching. Click on this video appearing on your screen to continue your awakening journey. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the bell for future notifications.